Hi, you guys. Welcome to Audrey's Reading Area. I'm here. Alexa, what time is Audrey's Reading Area? Audrey reads in her area live at 8 o'clock p.m. Live at 8, you guys. And shout out to my grandbabies, Korea, Sana, David the Third, and Kaden. I love you. I miss you guys. Mwah, mwah, mwah. All right, you guys. So it is Educational Tuesday. And I'm going to actually not to don't forget to click like don't forget to share this video everyone please share this video everyone please go to youtube look for audrey's reading area it's spelled like this audrey's reading area yes and smash that subscribe button for me smash the top all right you guys educational thursday so i have a book about frogs yes i'm gonna read to you about frogs it says in frogs a first discovery book. Young children will learn fascinating facts about frogs, toads, and other amphibians. Other amphibians. So I'm gonna just jump right into this book. It's a scholastic book. Scholastic. Features transparent pages. Oh, I haven't even opened up this book yet. So it says, let's see what it says. Who is it written by? It is Frogs, illustrated by Daniel Morgnat, a first discovery book. So it doesn't say who wrote it. Maybe it's a first discovery book. Maybe they wrote it. But it says it is illustrated by Daniel Morgnat. Okay. Nice little illustration of the frog just kind of jumping in there, huh? Hmm. So let's see, in the swamp, you can hear frogs croaking. You can hear them. Can you see them? Mm -hmm. In common European frog, the common European frog lives in water. The frog breathes and drinks through its skin. The skin is very smooth. The frog catches food with its sticky tongue. The frog moves through the water like this. Web feet. It help, to help it swim, the frog has four fingers on its front feet and five fingers with webbing, one, two, three, four, five, on its back feet. To dive, the frog can pull, its, pull in its eyes to keep them safe. Wow. See, his eyes are out, pulls them in when he goes diving. I didn't know that. I don't know a lot about frogs. I hope you guys are learning too, just like me. In the spring, male and female frogs mate in the water. Several million eggs are laid and fertilized. Look at that, millions of frogs at a time. There is probably no scarce. Frogs are not scarce, millions of eggs are fer fertilized. Mm. Oh, we've got a transparent page. How cool is that? Several days later, tadpoles, we all know that tadpoles are first and then they turn into frogs later. So let's listen up. Several days later, tadpoles hatch from the eggs the tadpoles use their gills to breathe in the water. At five weeks old, the tadpoles grow their back legs. Mm, look at that. They're growing their back legs at five weeks old. They're ready to rock and roll at five weeks old. The tadpoles now look like frogs and swim towards the riverbank. At nine weeks, the tail gets smaller and Frog legs appear. At 12 weeks, the tadpole grows lungs. They can breathe air now. After three months underwater, the frogs can leave the water. They are now amphibians. Amphibians can live in water and on land. Look at that. Interesting. Frogs are carnivores. They unroll their tongues to catch insects and invertebrates. 
Look at that. He's eating a fry. Mmm. Fly. Oh, we got another. Yes. See through page. Isn't that cool? <laughs> but the frog is about to be eaten too. A ringed snake and a pike are nearby. <gasps> pike. A snake. I wish they would just go away, right? The frog can move slowly on its four legs, but it can also use its long back legs to leap. Ribbit. <laughs> I'm just saying. To attract a mate, male frogs slide into the water and sing, inflating their vocal sacs. We have another transparent page. Let's see what it does. Oh. To attract a mate, it's going to, see? Inflates its vocal sacs. Wow. See, it didn't, it didn't show it on this page. It shows it on this page. How cool is that? Oh. Tree frogs, cousins of the common frogs, often live in trees and are very colorful. This is the veined tree frog. This is the flying frog. Look at the web feet, all of them. Red-eyed tree frog. European tree frog. Strawberry poison dart frog. I don't think I'd want to run into that one. Polka dot poison frog. Green and black poison dart frog. Poison dart frog. This frog's venom can be fatal for humans. Golden poison dart frog. Whoa. It says you can recognize dart frogs by their bright colors. They are not edible and they are very poisonous. Whoa. So let's see when we turn the page. So, the Chilean Andes toad, South America, the tree toad from India, the Argentine horn frog in South America. Even though toads can swim, they prefer to live in gardens. The yellow belly toad is the king of camouflage with his spotted back. Look at this. Let's see what happens when we turn the page. What does it look like? Pretty pretty, right? This is the yellow belly toad. Giant rain frogs from South Africa, cane toad, Australia, oriental fire belly toad from Asia. Male toads have very large vocal sacs. Oh my goodness. Singing. These amphibians have tails. They are called urodeles. Euro I'm saying it, probably saying it wrong. Urodeles. This is the tiger salamander in the United States. It is one of the biggest land salamanders. It can grow to be 12 inches long. Look at that thing. This is a greater siren, Sicilian, alpine newt. Mandarin Newt. With their large colorful scales, those strange animals look like amphibians. This is a Gila, Gila monster. I've seen that in person. Keep it away from me. <laughs> a caiman, looks like a crocodile. It says a caiman, a green iguana. Red-eared uh, slider. It's like a turtle to me, right? Slow worm. But they're really reptiles. Reptiles spend all their life on land. So I guess it's a type of an alligator. Type of a turtle. Spend all their life on land. Is that the end already? 
Oh, the end. Do you look like me? Maybe I have to take out the glasses. <laughs> joking, joking, joking with you guys. Well, you guys, thanks for listening to me read this fun, exciting, and educational book. We learned a lot about frogs today, didn't we? Got my little frog here. We learned a lot about you. All right. All right, all right, all right. Thank you all for so being here listening to me read and supporting me by clicking like and sharing my videos and then going to YouTube. Looking for Audrey's Reading Area and smashing up that subscribe button. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I will see you again tomorrow live. L-I-V-E. Live at 8. See you tomorrow. Tomorrow, tomorrow, I'll see ya tomorrow. It's only one day away. See you tomorrow here at Audrey's Reading Area. Audrey's Reading Area.